Welcome to Heaven Awaits. If this is your first time checking this channel out, I'm glad to have you here. My name is Lee, and together with Jen, we narrate the near-death experiences of those who have died and have seen the other side. These videos are meant to bring hope to a sometimes hopeless world and show people that there is life after death. If you enjoy these videos, please consider hitting the thumbs up, subscribe, and bell icons to be notified of new content. Doing so is free, and it does help the channel grow. To my returning viewers, I'm glad to have you back. Today's experience is not a near-death experience, but is more of an out-of-body experience. Stanley, while in class, faints and is expelled from his body and goes back to the beginning of time, where he witnesses God creating everything, including the earth. Get comfortable, grab a cup of coffee or tea, and let's dive into today's narration. I was in a film class in college. We were studying a documentary about a hospital. When they showed a close-up of a small wound bleeding, being extremely squeamish at the time, I fainted. When I fainted, I did not have an out-of-body experience in the sense of hovering above the scene. I think that first I went to a place that most people might describe as heaven, where I felt I was in the presence of a divine power. I did not see a specific religious personage such as Christ or Buddha, etc., even though I have a Christian background. Then I went to the beginning. By that I mean to a place before the universe existed. It's difficult to describe as nothing physical existed. There was an overwhelming sense of serenity where all the souls that exist are in a sea of souls and where the boundaries between individual souls were not defined, much like waves in an ocean. I was an individual, yet part of a larger whole. I was there for more than an eternity, sort of a timeless time since time did not exist yet. Then, God, who seemed to be apart from or at a higher level than the seas of souls, created the physical universe. One by one, the souls were pulled into the physical universe, but there seemed to be a voluntary nature to the participation. This was an extremely interesting experience since I witnessed everything from the beginning, the formation of stars, etc. But as the physical universe evolved, and as my soul was pulled into the universe, I seemed to focus on just the Earth, but saw and experienced it on a micro level, having simultaneous complete knowledge of every bit of Earth, especially of any living thing, including the smallest microbes in the soil or ocean. It's difficult now to remember the feeling of being simultaneously aware of every living thing. Along with the total history of the Earth, I saw and experienced my little part in it, thus seeing my own life and death. After I died in the experience, my soul floated in space above the Earth. Even though I was back to being a soul, it seemed to have the form of my naked body. As earlier in the experience, my soul had the godlike quality of omniscience, and I think therefore, omnipresence. However, as I floated in space, I slowly became aware that I was gripping something in my hand. At first I tried to ignore it, but eventually I found I couldn't open my hand to see what I was holding. At that point I was informed by God that I was still tied to the physical world and had to go back. My soul fell back through a dark tunnel, except for a thin shower of individual photons that smarted like sand in the wind. It was almost like a birth canal for a soul. I fought hard to keep from going back to the physical world, but was unable to prevent it. I slowly became conscious. One of the girls in the class was running her hand through my hair, and they were all crouched around me. Before I opened my eyes, I could feel I was holding something. I opened my eyes and saw the wooden beams in the old classroom, and the first thing I said was something like, how can this still be here after all that time? I opened my hand to find a set of keys. I asked whose they were, and a friend of mine from India said they were his, and he took them. The class instructor took me into his office and asked if I had taken drugs. I was amused, but I was not a drug user at all. He wanted to send me to the school clinic, but I went home and slept for a long time. Later I talked to my Indian friend, and without first describing what happened when I fainted, I asked why he put his keys in my hand, and he said that in his area of India, the custom is that when someone faints or goes unconscious, they put something brass in the hand to keep the soul in the body. Also, as mentioned earlier, when I talked to the vet in the class, he told me that he definitely thought I was dead. The girl who was rubbing her fingers through my hair told me I was only out for about a minute. That's what amazed me. 
How could I seem to experience multiple eternities in real time during that short of a period? That does it for Stanley's experience. What did everyone think? Let us know in the comment section below whether you believe that Stanley saw creation. Until the next video, stay safe and continue to be blessed.